All right, now let's build the flow that is going to allow us to uh, extract information from different invoices with the model that we have just created. So I'm going to create a manually triggered flow and call it invoice extract. And you should be quite familiar with this interface and with the whole process that we're doing right now. We make this flow so that when we trigger, this flow is activated. And the next step that we have to do is we need to get the content of a folder that we have. So in this folder right here, I have different files that I want to analyze. So let me create actually a new folder right here. And let's call this test. And let's move this untitled spreadsheet right there. So let's move this spreadsheet called. Let's see if it's right here. It's it's there. All right. So we have one folder and we have some files in here. Inside of the invoice folder, we have a date, an invoice number, an amount, and a location. And these files right here are the invoices that we had previously. So let's say we either receive by email and with the flow, we save these documents inside of, uh, inside of Drive. And right now we want to create a flow that is going to extract the information automatically from there and put it inside of a Google Sheet document. Let's extract all of the files. So let's go to Google Drive and let's look for and let's look for the action that we need. So in this case, we were going to need a get all files. So we're going to list all files inside of a folder. Let's select the folder that we would like to use. So it's going to be inside of Google Drive, inside of attachments, and it's going to be this folder right here. Save. And then the next thing that we need to do is we need to get the content of each file. So that is probably going to create a loop. So let's search for Drive again. Google Drive and now let's get the file content using the ID. So here we are getting a list of different files and right here let's get the content using the ID. So here we're getting the content and now we need to do use our model to extract the different data. So let's use AI Builder and let's look for a uh, for the model that we have just created. So we are going to add a custom AI capability, which is going to be to add uh, or extract from custom forms, extract information from forms. So we're going to look for the model that we have trained, invoice AI model. That is the model that we have trained. Now we have access to it. We are going to select that these are PDF documents or form types from PDF. And we're also going to put the file content. So the form file content that we're getting right here. So with everything right here in set, we should be able to extract all of the information. All right, now we want to insert everything inside of Google Sheets. So let's search for Sheets and let's uh, insert a new row. Let's pick the file that we wanna select. So it's inside of Google Drive, it's inside of Attachments, it's inside of Train, and then it's inside of Test. So this is the file that we want to use. We are going to select sheet one and then we are going to select a date or an invoice number. So let's see what we have. Total value, let's put the total value right there. So let's look for the total value, it's right there. All right, now let's try our process like this and see if it's working. So let's save this. Let's check our, uh, check our sheet, it's currently, it is empty. Let's test our process, let's manually test it. So what it should do, it should go to the Google Drive folder, it should extract the, all of the files that are inside of that folder, all of the PDF files. It should run them through the model that we have just created and it should extract the value and write it inside of this file right here under the amount column. So it is working the first invoice that has checked is 81. Let's see if it's able to find the same for all of the other invoices. At the same time, I can check inside of the folder that I have inside of the different invoices. So this is currently 150. Let's see the next one. This is 90. 270. So let's see these invoices, 200, uh, 170, 90, 
and let's see if we have 150 and 277 so let's see this is probably this invoice right here 170 so this is it has managed to extract all of the information and it successfully wrote it down here now i can fine tune this add the invoice number add more information do more steps but you get the idea this is how you can build complex flows that require cognitive capabilities such as using your eyes to extract information from this pdf let's say you have to extract this you have to copy and paste it in this example i can't even copy and paste it so uh, i would have to manually update it and just close and open different screens and that would be very time consuming all right thank you so much for watching i hope that you have enjoyed creating processes with flow